The Nigerian police force has identified three police officers and one civilian accomplice who participated in the unprofessional act of dehumanizing a female citizen, as shown in a viral video on Wednesday, July 22, 2020. The force public relations officer, force headquarters, Abuja, DCP Frank Mba, disclosed this in a statement on Thursday. According to the statement, they are currently being detained at the Lagos State CID detention facility, Panti Yaba. Two suspects, ASP Tijani Olatunji and Inspector Boyega Uyeniyi, have been arrested for their role in the discreditable conduct and incivility to a member of the public. According to the officer who spoke in Yoruba, the young lady was to answer for how she got to know the kidnapper, whom she claimed to have met only recently. The video went viral after it surfaced online with many calling for the dismissal of the officers, arguing that their conducts were unprofessional. Joining us now is Shegu Awusoya, convener and SARS. Thank you for joining us. Quickly, your reaction to this development. Thank you very much for having me on the program. I want to believe that um, the lady has ground to sue for criminal defamation, assault, prejudicial profiling based on the illegal parade and primitive misogynistic line of questioning, which is utterly reprehensible and dehumanizing. This is not part of the operational procedure of police. And the people and the uh, culpable officers must be punished, if not dismissed from the system. We all have the right and the duty to protect the vulnerable in our society. And this is not how to do, handle any matter that, is even, that can even be legally deemed to be an investigation. We are not guilty until proven innocent. We are innocent until proven guilty under the law. What, what, what and I believe that if... Go ahead, go ahead. You said... I believe that if there's any investigation whatsoever, there are means and procedures through which this can be navigated. And it is never done this way. This is an illegal parade of suspect, and she's not even a suspect. You don't even know if she was kidnapped. You don't even know what she's doing there. And you have no right to video such a person or parade them as guilty and then use such line of questioning which dehumanizes the lady. What, what is what, be, what uh, is the, the, we'll get to the bottom of this what what is most pathetic about the fact that these are officers not some street urchins that chose to uh, do this recording and not only doing that posting it on the internet is there no uh, mode of operation for these officers uh, what more can be done to salvage the battered image of this lady who now it's in the public eye for just being in a place at the wrong time. I think the police itself needs to be overhauled. Because right now you can see from that video and several other reports that we have been gathering for years, the police no longer operate under the law. They have become law unto themselves. So it's always very difficult for you to even believe any investigation that police came up with because you don't know the process through which you know they got their information or they got their findings so because of this that's one of the reasons why we keep on hammering on the fact that the police reform bill must be passed so that we can sanitize the operations of the police what can this be done to, to these uh, police officers coming from a nation what can be done to these police officers for what is being described as very unprofessional conduct to serve as deterrents to other officers who may be doing uh, a, a similar uh, thing now, not later? What can be done to them now? I think basically um, there are two ways. First of all, there's going to be an internal investigation where they will go through a disciplinary action. But while that is going on, nothing stops a civil act or, or, or civil suit to go on uh, simultaneously because okay. those officers must be punished for their crimes. All right. Uh, tell us a bit about your recent uh, tweets that trended on, on, on social media on the activities of police officers around the Mushing area of Lagos. 
under normal circumstances, we'll find that of late, police officers go out in the evenings to pick citizens, unarmed citizens, for nothing, just because they want ransom. And because of that, we've seen that there have been reports coming in, pouring in daily, how police go onto the street, pick up anybody that is alive, take them somewhere, and then begin to call their parents to come and buy their freedom. So it was one of those cases where somebody who had paid for the freedom of their staff reached out to say, this is what police have been doing. And we're able to corroborate that story with several other, over a thousand different uh, experiences and reports that says that is exactly what they do, that they normally pick up people, innocent people for that matter, and then put a ransom on their head and call their parents to come and release them. Have this and been reported to, to the authorities? Have this the been reported are to the authorities? Very well aware. Okay. They are well aware of this, and the investigation is going on to root out most of these people. All right. Thank you very much uh, for your time and the work that you do. Thank you very much.